What is up? I'm Warner Turtle, and today we are doing another PSA Returns. This one is a little bit different because these are all cards for my patron, Tyler. Uh, we got all these cards in for Tyler before the price increase, so all these were graded for the sweet price of $10. And uh, yeah, Tyler, you did a great job. Uh, we're starting off with some Champions Path ETB Charizards. And uh, yeah, I feel like you did a great job selecting all the cards. Uh, we got a ton of 10s, um, almost all of it is modern, and I think this was like the near perfect submission because it's, you know, it's very safely within that $10 price range. Here's our first 9, but it's still a 9 Charmeleon from Hidden Fates, shiny, very nice. Uh, we got another 9 on the Charmander. Let's see, we actually got a couple 9s, but don't worry, I'm pretty sure we're going to find a 10 soon. And um, yeah, so definitely, you know, none of these modern cards are great candidates for when we're talking uh, anything over like, I don't know, $15 to be graded. Definitely not good candidates. So definitely got these at the perfect time, the last minute to get these uh, all slabbed up for $10. So huge congrats. We got a bunch of these shiny EVs and yeah, just great picks. You know, I feel like a lot of my submissions have these not so popular baby shinies, but you just went with all the good stuff. A shiny Arcus. So we got some Shining Legends as well. Definitely a set that I kind of slept on and didn't get a lot of stuff graded. So I'm, there's a lot of cards in here. I feel like this is a potentially good example. Uh, where I might have to make uh, Tyler an offer for some of these cards. Shining Jirachi. So I feel like the Shining Legends, um, not as good percentage uh, for 10s, but I think we got at least one of each of them. Uh, here's a Volcanion. And uh, so his submission was in total 105 cards. So we're gonna split this up into two different videos. And it looks like we're going back to Hidden Fates. One random uh, nitpick on PSA. Uh, oh, I my lighting's not perfect here. I'll have to fix that. Let's just see if I can open this window a little bit. Um, is that the, the ordering of the cards, when they came back to me, I had to like reorder a bunch of stuff, which was very tedious. And all right. I'll fix that later. So here we have Cynthia. We did get the PSA 10. All right, we're back rolling. Uh, okay, and then we have a 9. So let's put this Cynthia here. Uh, so at least we got one of the 10s on the Cynthia. Very nice. And all right, here we have a nice um, few cards. Umbreon, uh, probably one of the best, you know, non-Charizard cards in the set. And we got one 10, two 10s. Oh, that's it. I think we got most of the evolutions. A nice Lucario 10. And yeah, so it's not, you know, I feel like mine were just like, all right, here's a huge uh, batch of like random Hidden Fates cards. It's like, let's just go with the good ones. We got most of the evolutions here. We got with the Glaceon. Actually, we got a bunch of Glaceons. And look at this, just this this percentage of 10, so high. Again, Tyler, like well done. Kind of like pick, picking the cards. I think you probably spent more time than I did uh, picking my, my cards to submit. But again, even you know, even with nine, uh, eight's pretty a pretty big letdown for a modern card. Uh, but even nine, just to get it slapped up, and uh, at the price point that we'll never see again, is my uh, very confident prediction. A shrine right there. We got a gold Bulu, and then another cool one that I really like, Scizor. Ten. We got a bunch of Scizors, and then we got another random. Champions Path ETB. Actually, it's going quicker than I expected, but so we'll, we'll still split up into two videos. So probably uh, in the new future, we'll have another one uh, for the rest of Tyler's submission. And actually this I'm pretty impressed with. So obviously not a very, uh, you know, fancy card. Uh, this was from the tins, those $20 tins. And, oh, remember that Target sale at $10 for Black Friday? Ooh, should have bought all <laughs> so many of those. Uh, but, you know, so this is definitely a dime a dozen card, but to get a 10, I actually feel like it's pretty difficult. You know, those prongs of death were very much a problem uh, during uh, this this era, during, during this time. Uh, and this Charizard, definitely underestimated. It definitely should have, um, you know, kept all these and sent them all to be graded. Uh, I feel like the price point is pretty good for a modern card that wasn't too hard to pull. Like, this is not even the shiny vault. And uh, once again, well done picking the very good quality, all these PSA 10s for these Charizards. All right, let's move to some evolutions. So we got this Mega Blastoise, really love this card. 
This one did get the PSA 9, but we do got a 10 right here. And we got some more baby shinies. Sight, like they're always good one. SV1. Couple or a random turtle. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, no, nah, I think I'm good. I think this one, mine is like an 8, but I think I'm okay with that. Ah, Evolution Zard. So this one, there's a couple like, ah, oh, you know, I really would have, I was really hoping for the 10. This, this Charizard is really hard to get 10. I know, I'm still waiting on my first one, and I submitted a bunch. We got a 9. And this one, yeah, I feel like the centering is not exactly perfect, but this card looks really strong. So a little disappointed on that one, and then we got another 8. So this one definitely tough enough to crack. Very cool looking Mewtwo with the mint 9. Evolution Charizard with another 9. And we're going to wrap up this first video of Tyler's 100 5 card submission with another Evolution with the Espeon. So, yeah, once again, Tyler, great job. Congratulations. And, uh, yeah, you got it just, you know, not the last second, but close to the last second of being able to get these cards graded for such a great price. And, uh, yeah, we'll have part two for you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.